This program contains scenes of nonsensical garbage and coarse language and is intended for a mature audience. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, my little babies. Welcome back to Wheel of Makeup Misfortune. Essentially, this is a new makeup release video, except instead of just talking about the products, I decide, okay, let's play it like a game show. I take all the products that I'm interested in, throw them on a wheel and spin like my life depends on it. In addition to the products, I also have a couple of other little spots on the wheel, like this, for example. If I land on this, I get to take a shot and oh man, it's the best time ever. <laughs> Or if I land on this, I basically have to go dumpster diving, which basically means it's kind of like a, think of it like double dare physical challenge, okay? Sometimes it could be something really simple or something just really just horrible. Uh, <laughs> so hopefully the dumpster gods are good today. Ah, yay. If I land on this, basically if I have three skulls, I just end the video. Why? Because I am a maniac and I thought it'd be pretty funny. And of course, once I land on this, this is my beautiful husband, he's basically just, I don't know, just gonna read something to filth because he doesn't understand it and it's funny. Uh <laughs> So without further ado, I'm going to throw it to Mo, who's going to tell us what we're going to be talking about today. Why thank you, Teresa. In this week's Chock Full of Garbage episode, we feature products from Natasha Denona, LYS Beauty, Real Techniques, Prada Beauty, Ilia Beauty, Pat McGrath Labs, Refa Brushes, Nude Sticks, Sabrina Carpenter, Too Faced Cosmetics, Spectrum Makeup Brushes, Bobby Brown, Urban Decay, and our very own darling Charlotte Tilbury. Well, this is going to be a pretty boring episode. Wake me up when I have to do something. Now back to you, my garbage queen. Thank you, Mo. Are you okay? I think we need to put a wellness check on Mo. Oh, all right. Anyway, now before I begin, uh, first and foremost, I decided to bring out my road vagina case because one in Rome. And uh, what I'm drinking today is high noon. I, I know, I, I just went back. I went back. It's delicious. Let's spin. Let's spin, right? Sabrina Carpenter. Oh, I love this. Can I tell you I love Sabrina Carpenter? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I was gonna say fudge cookie, but that's not me. Um, okay, so I initially wanted to include this on the wheel. I'm just gonna pop a picture up. It's it's gonna be really fast. This is from Glaminatrix. They came out with a palette called Barely Basic. You can get it for pre-order now. I believe it's like $64. Yep, it is $64. It's pretty and I was hoping that they were going to talk about it but I wasn't sure because they kind of pushed it back a little bit because it's actually what I have in my eyes today because this arrived the other day. It's great. Listen, y'all know me. I am a basic bitch through and through and this is just my bread and butter. <laughs> So I was so happy to see this. I, I I love Glaminatrix. And one of my favorite palettes of all time is, I believe it's called, is it the Nearly Neutral? Yes, because this is Barely Basic, Nearly Neutral. They don't make it anymore. I'm gonna put a picture right here. I would get up, but I don't feel like getting up. I'll be honest with you. I don't feel like getting up. <laughs> but it's one of my favorite, favorite indie palettes. It's so good. And as much as I do love their fun, eclectic color stories, I do love when they are a basic bitch and they know how to do good basic bitch palettes. This is great. For my look today, I pretty much kind of like focus on the green row. I use uh, this guy right here for the lower lash line. I used a little bit of the brown shade in the outer corner as well as Holy Grail as like a top liner. And then I kind of like played with these three shimmers, get ready with me, DIY and engagement. It's good. I, I like this. I, I just love Glaminatrix. They're Wonderful. So they did send this to me in PR, so full disclosure. And I am affiliated with the brand. So if you're ever interested in wanting to check anything out, use the code GARBAGE. Whew, garbage. And you can save money off your order. But yeah, I wanted to include this in the wheel, but I already have the wheel already set up. So, and I only noticed it because I just opened up Instagram trying to find Sabrina Carpenter. Bitch. Okay. <laughs> I'll definitely feature this in like a week or so, but uh, just letting you know, it's available now to pre-order. Go check it out or don't. Do whatever the f*** you want to do. I, I'm not your mom. I could care less. So anyway, um, that said, let's talk about Sabrina Carpenter. I love Sabrina Carpenter. I love her. I think she's better. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. I think she's better than Taylor Swift. Okay. Sorry. Not sorry. <laughs> Taylor Swift's okay. She's okay. She's all right. Like, she's not bad. But I just, I don't know. I, and I'm, I'm sure so many people are like, I, I didn't like the picture. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But actually, no, I'm not sorry. I refuse to apologize these days. 
nope, sorry. Um, so yeah, I don't really give a shit. <laughs> I just, I'm not a big Taylor Swift person. I think I like maybe six songs. Am I a Swifty? No. Am I a Sabrina Carpenter person? Absolutely. Lily, all right? I love Sabrina Carpenter, okay? So when I saw this, I lost my shit because I want it, I want it, I want it. <laughs> but the reason why I want it so badly is because if you didn't know, I am new to the fragrance world uh, because I lost some weight and now I could smell. Isn't that funny how that works? Hilarious. Anyway, <laughs> now I could smell. Granted, I'm not talking about like smelling like at 100%, but I could definitely smell at 50%, which is better than 10%. So the one thing that I kind of fell in love with in terms of fragrance is uh, the, I was about to say Marc Jacobs, that is the wrong designer. Uh, it's this, uh, the cherry perfume, the cherry perfume. Oh my God, girl, you know the name of it. Lost Cherry. Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. One day I will bite the bullet and I'll pull the trigger and I'll actually buy a bottle of the perfume. But in the meantime, I just have a travel size and I'm okay with that. <laughs> and of course I've just been living off the Bath and Body Works one because it, I feel like it's very comparable. Maybe not as complex as Tom Ford, but I would say very, very close. Not the one from Target, that finery shit. That, no, that does not. I did not like that one. The Bath and Body Works one was the best one. But anyway, I see this and I see that it's cherry. Now, granted, is it gonna be a dupe? Doesn't say anything like that, but I just kind of assume. Why? Because I'm stupid. So I'm excited to try this. It's playful, it's sophisticated, just like me. I like it. It's a bubbly feel that's like a Cherry Cosmo or Shirley Temple, but it's also very rich. Like me, not like money wise, but more like fat content wise. <laughs> I am sweet, okay. I would say this fragrance was the hardest one to get right because we needed to smell the actual cherry. Okay, for a second I was confused because I was like, wait, what is this? And it, it was just a quote, I guess, by Sabrina Carpenter. I was like, why am I saying this? All right, anyway, it's $49. It's gonna be available. <gasps> did I miss, did I fucking miss it? Bitch! Oh my God, I'm so mad at myself right now. I thought it was gonna be available next week. You Fuck. All right, hold on, let me see. Is it? It's probably not even. What am I doing? <sighs> the video's canceled, y'all. <laughs> the video's canceled. And I could feel the Swifties just laughing at me. Like, ha ha, you dumb bitch. You're not gonna get it, man. <sighs> god damn it. Oh my god, I want that cherry perfume so badly. <gasps> it's out of stock, you dumb bitch. No, it's there. Nope, it's, nope. Nope, nope. Oh, but she has other ones though. She has other ones. Oh, 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 pre-sale. Oh, sorry. It's like a little dog. I'm buying it now. I'm buying it now. I'm buying it now. I'm buying it now. Please note, your order will ship in seven to 10, but doesn't even matter. You could take fucking two months. I don't care. I just want it. Okay, I'm gonna buy this. I'll let y'all know. Actually, in the future, I am gonna do a perfume video where I'll let you know what things smell like. That should be hilarious. Yeah, that should be hilarious. Okay. <laughs> anyway, let me go buy this and then we're gonna spin. Take a shot, my alien queen. Hello. Hi. Hello. May I have a shot, but if it's not in the sink or the dishwasher, can I have my rad ditto cup? If not, I'll take my rad Pikachu. Okay, I think they're both clean. Yay, I'm so excited. Okay, thank you, bye. Anyway. <laughs> can I tell you, that took way too long to order that fucking perfume. I was also trying to find a coupon code, couldn't find I was so pissed about that. I'm so excited. I wanna see like how close it is. It's probably gonna be but I don't care because I love Sabrina Carpenter. I love her, okay? I love her. I don't care. Um, yeah. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. You know. I'm good. <laughs> Having a couple of cocktails. You know what? The peach is the best one, then followed by the raspberry. Raspberry's good. This is awkward. <laughs> <laughs> it helps if you're here because then, like, you know, we could talk and stuff. Oh, shit. Yeah, you're going to see I have, like, a little mark right here. It's not makeup. I didn't fuck anything up. I scratched my face by accident. I don't even know how I did that. I don't even have nails. <gasps> Hello. Hello. Mm -hmm. Ooh, is the ditto was dirty. No, it's clean too. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you can just tell how disappointed I am. Okay. All right. Should I get the other cap? No, no, no. I mean, it's already here. It's already here. It's already here. It's already here, man. It's already 
Did you just burp? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was just telling them about how I cut my food. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't know what happened. I don't know. Okay, I have um, Tito's vodka and my rad Pikachu. Could have, uh, could have I gotten, wow, Jesus. Could have I got, could have I gotten, what am I trying to say? Could have been? been a shot glass, but I don't have one. Instead, I like to put my shot glasses in the shot. Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm gonna go. Girl, cheers. Okay. At least it's cold. <gasps> it is. We're gonna get that shot machine, aren't we? I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm working on it. Let's spin. Charlotte Tilbury. Oh, Miss Charlotte Tilbury. I don't know what it sounds. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> this is bad. Okay. I was about to say our mother. Our mother, who doesn't pay attention to us and gives us complexes about, you know, how we look, uh, is coming out with a new mascara. It's available in Europe, so it's not quite here yet, but it will be eventually. And this is the Exagger Eyes Volume Mascara. Not the last part, but whatever, mascara. Smudge proof, flake proof, smudge proof, flake proof, clump proof, and humid humidity proof. Bitch, you speak in my language. Long wear formulated mascara. Bigger, thicker, longer lashes. Has a lash of vinyl black wrap tech, an ultra curb lash styler brush that separates every lash for instant root to tip volume and curl. With a curb design inspired by the elegance of the Art Deco era. It's cute. I like it. I like the the little uh, whatever. I'm about to say thingamabob. <laughs> I like the component. It, the brush head makes me happy. It kind of reminds me a little bit of one of my favorite mascaras, which is from Benefit, the Fan Fest. So that's good. What is so promising though is those fucking pictures of those eyeballs. Like that looks really good. And I kind of want to see if that is going to be my experience because as somebody who doesn't mess with false lashes and all that other garbage, I like things that will give me length and volume and separation and not clump my shit together and just make me look like a hot ass mess. So this is like right up my alley. Um, now, have I tried other Charlotte Tilbury products? Uh, Yes, duh, I have Charlotte Tilbury mascaras in the past. Yes, I have. And I want to say the only one that I really love, like I love, 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 love. Where are you, my little baby? Oh God, okay. No, 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 girl. It's this one. The Push Up Lashes. And I have to have it in the shade Dream Pop. Dream Pop is the best. It's such a beautiful, yeah, right? Now that makes sense. It's such a beautiful formula. And I like the Dream Pop shade specifically because it's a very beautiful berry tone that just looks amazing on my eyes because I have like pretty blue eyes and they make my eyes pop. And I like that. I also like that mascara because it does give me lift and separation and volume and it doesn't fall and all that garbage. So if it's very similar to that, I'm excited. But I kind of have a feeling though I have tried something very similar to this product or maybe the name sounds like, I know the name sounds familiar, but I can't remember if I tried the mascara with the same or similar name. Cause I remember there is a mascara from Charlotte that I don't like that. I was like, what the fuck is this? But that one I love. Mm, I don't know. Anyway, I'm excited. I kind of can't wait to try it and I am going to buy it when it comes out. All right, next. Ilia Beauty. Ooh. I like this. Am I super excited about it? Eh, I'm kind of lukewarm uh, because I mean, it's Ilia Beauty. Ilia Beauty's fine. Like I sound like I'm a, being a little shithead, but like Ilia Beauty's fine, but it's not a brand that like I go out of my way for. Is that kind of a dick? I feel like that's kind of a dick, but like, I don't mean it. It's not like they did anything wrong to me. Like I like their products. It's just, I think they're kind of sleepy and boring. Granted though, I do love that little weird, whatever the, um, the complexion stick. That's one of my, actually one of my favorite products from Ilya. Oh wait, besides that, um, that milk shit, that milk shit. <laughs> Hold on, let me go. What was it called? Ilya Beauty Milk Shit, right? Milk, milk, milk. Keep saying milk face base. 
That's what I was thinking of. Okay, that was great. The Essence one, I finished that not too long ago and now I'm kind of working on my Rode one. Once the Rode one's done, I think I'm actually gonna go pick up the Ilia one again because that one was a great product. So I'm sorry, I, I should throw some respect down when I'm talking to Ilya. Like, I think I'm just being a little brat because no, you know what, fuck that. Again, I'm not apologizing, fuck that, no. They're boring, they're boring. <laughs> But I like them, but like I don't run and check for them though. Like, I feel like that makes sense. I'm being a little fucking snot, I know. Anyway, there's new products from the Ilya family. So we have like a bronze and glow. So we have a sun shift cream bronzer for $38. A blurring bronzer shifts from silky cream to a weightless powder, blending seamlessly for sun-kissed warmth and dimension that lasts up to 12 hours. Boosted with potent antioxidants, it mimics a golden hour glow in four shades. So I, want to get that. I do want to try it, but it's something that I don't need to pick up right now. Although that eclipse shade, <gasps> bitch. Okay. I kind of really love that one. I don't need it right now. This is something that I will pick up during a Sephora sale. I want 20% off. Like I don't need to pay $40 for a cream bronzer. If y'all didn't see my last video, then you saw these 750 bronzers that I have. Do I really need another one? No. Am I going to still buy it? Yes. Because obviously I have a lot of issues that I'm dealing with. <laughs> Emotionally. And sometimes retail therapy is what you need. <laughs> I'm kidding, but I'm also not. Anyway, so I don't really need this right now, but I still want to try it though. I'm curious. But the thing I'm excited about is actually the cream highlighter that also retails for $38. And uh, there's no description for that. So I imagine it's pretty much exactly the same thing, except it's not going to say golden hour glow. That's probably the best way that I could say that. Anyway, so there are three shades in that one. Again, I want to pick these up but I don't think I need to pay full price for them at all. I love that glint shade. Ooh, I actually love that arc shade too, but arc looks like it's gonna leave a cast, so I'm only gonna have to get glint. Okay, yes, uh, when there is a Sephora sale, I will definitely pick this up and I'll let you know, you know, if they're any good. And I, like I said, not that anybody really gives a shit about Ilya Beauty. I know I, I sound like such a little asshole, but mm, prove me wrong. All right. <laughs> I like it. I'm bored, but I like it. Next. <laughs> Natasha Denona. Ooh, Natasha Denona. Okay, so Natasha Denona came out with the mini rose eyeshadow palette. So this retails for $27, which is pretty standard to all the other little mini palettes from Natasha Denona. So I'm glad to hear that at least that didn't get an increase. I feel like everything else has been just slowly increasing more and more. Um, but that one, at least staying the same. Okay, this is drawing inspiration from the iconic rosy hues of the Rose Cheek Duo and I Need a Rose Lip Collection. Travel friendly with five dazzling and silky smooth cool tone pink, mauve, and taupe shades or mauve, however the fuck you pronounce it. This is already available. And this is another one that like, I like this. I think this is like a really beautiful color story. It's a great little Anne palette, but I don't need it. Um, I think that I just have so many things in my collection that kind of have a similar feel to it that I, I just, I don't, necessarily need to have this. Is it gonna stop me from wanting to try it in the future? No. <laughs> It might try it in the future, but like this is something that I, I don't need. I think if it was maybe a little bit more unique, um, I don't know, something kind of like tickles my pickle a little bit more, maybe I would be interested in it. But like, I think it's very beautiful, but it's just something that I already have 25 fucking times over. And I feel like in today's video, I'm probably gonna be a hypocrite because there's gonna be some other palettes that we're gonna be talking about. I'll get into that later. But um, this one I can easily just go, meh. I'm, I'm good. I don't need it. I don't need it. That said, if you ever wanted to try anything from Natasha Denona, I, I do have a code with them. And I'm not even joking or lying when I say if you use code garbage, you can save some money off your order. So feel free to use it or don't or whatever. Who cares? Um, but yeah, I mean, I think this is really cute. This is cute. And I kind of feel like in, you know, ways that this is also like a nice little extension to uh, I need a nude palette. So I like that. But also, I mean, actually, are these like really new shades? Are these new shades? Because that's my other problem with this brand is that sometimes when they release these little guys, it's usually repeat shades. Oh, three of them are from the mid. Okay, so some thank you. Somebody already asked that. Said, are these repeat shades though? Seriously, I'm too lazy to look it up. Bitch, me too. Also, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to call you bitch. Ma'am, me too. <laughs> 
shit anyway. Okay, so three of them are from the MIDI Retro. All right, yeah, you know what, then I'm good. I'm good. The fact that these are repeat shades and not even new shades, there's really no need for someone like myself who has a very large makeup collection to get. However, if you are somebody that doesn't have a lot of makeup, I can understand the appeal of it. So I think, yes, this is a beautiful color story. I feel like you get, actually get quite a few looks with this little guy. It's pretty, it's very pretty, um, but if you are someone that has a larger collection, I just don't think it's um, a got to have item that you got to have. Smaller collection, sure. Cause usually the formula in the little mini palettes, I say are sometimes better than the bigger palettes. So I don't know what the fuck that means, but it is what it is. Anyway, I like it. I don't love it. I'm not gonna buy it. Next. Bobby Brown. <laughs> okay. Mm. This is giving me, okay. I don't know if, if y'all are new here. I used to do a version of whatever this video is called new makeup nonsense bingo. And I remember very explicitly, I think there was one time I pulled something from Bobby Brown that had a monopoly kind of, I think it was monopoly. Oh yeah. When was this? Cause this was a wild time, 2021. Oh my, do you remember 2021 is a fucking blur. One of the heights of COVID it was, it was insane. Okay. And I feel like at the time, like makeup was just so fucking wild that, uh, like this, it was like flying out left and right, like willy nilly. And I remember like just yelling, just yelling about this just over and over again, being like how stupid it is and doesn't make any sense and da da da. And that is exactly how I feel. When I look at this collection, it legitimately doesn't make any sense. So this is the Bobbi Brown X Pac-Man collection, which I'm actually kind of surprised. It's like Pac-Man, I don't know, is, is there like an anniversary pack for Pac-Man? I don't know. But anyway, in the collection, there's a lipstick with a matte finish. There's six shades in that. You have an eyeshadow palette. You have two face highlighters, which are probably the only things that I would actually would get. Same thing like the uh, fucking Monopoly highlighter. I think that was the only thing that I was like, I could suck that thing thick. Pretty sure I said something like that. <laughs> but I digress. The palette doesn't make any sense whatsoever. There is not one color that feels like it's uh, being represented from like the game to the palette. This feels very much like the Mac Sims collection. Remember that? That dog shit thing where obviously the intern created it. I don't know why the creatives at Mac didn't get fired for that one. But like that was some bullshit. And that's kind of like what this is. However, I do love the packaging. I think the packaging is fucking great. And I almost would respect it more if like, okay, I understand like having a neutral palette, but if you did have one, like a yellow, a rogue yellow, even a rogue fucking red shade or something just to, I don't know. I feel like make the connection between the two as opposed to just being like a cash grab at the end of the day. Like, I don't know, man. Like this is just fucking weird. But the highlighter, the, <laughs> the highlighter looks fun. I like the highlighter. I could get behind the highlighter. Uh, it's just everything else. I'm just like, what is this? So actually, hold on. Is there an anniversary with Pac-Man? I'm also going to throw up the on the side over here. I'm gonna show you, if you didn't remember the Monopoly collection, I'm gonna put it right over here because it feels very much the same. I actually almost thought the eyeshadow palettes were very similar, but they're not. The Actually, the eyeshadow palette for the Monopoly game looks kind of interesting in comparison to the one that's for Pac-Man. But is there an anniversary or something? Pac-Man, how old is Pac- How old is Pac-Man? All right, 44. That's not a fucking like, ooh, you're 44. Nobody cares. Like, talk to me when you're like 45, you know what I mean? or 50. At a certain point, you have to start celebrating birthdays on the fives, all right? <laughs> Every five year increments make sense. 44, there's nothing special about you. I'm sorry, but there isn't. Um, yeah, this is, this is insane. <laughs> uh, obviously, a major cash grab, uh, just a major cash grab. And I just kind of wish that they took, I don't know, throw us a fucking bone. <laughs> Try to like bring something. Cause I even remember the Pac-Man collection from Wet n Wild. And I believe, I believe half of that collection that I got, not half of it, but definitely a part of it, like nail polishes were defected. And yet that was still a better collection than this. <laughs> also, it was really sick too. It came in a giant like Pac-Man box. That was cool. God, makeup is wild. Oh my God. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, this is a no for me, dog. No, I'm good. I'm good. But I'll take the highlighter though. Next. Oh no, 
one down, two to go. You know what's funny? For the wheel, I made sure to make it as tiny as humanly possible. And yet we still landed on it. Hilarious. Anyway, let's spin. Spectrum makeup brushes. Oh, speaking of a fucking cash grab, this is disgusting. <laughs> I hate this so much with a huge passion. So Spectrum brushes, which I don't, well, you. Okay, first of all, Spectrum brushes sometimes makes things like this. And it's amazing, right? They make things like this. And you're like, oh my God, you're everything. You're adorable. You're Linda Evangelista, okay? And then they make shit that looks like this. And you're like, what the fuck is this? What is this? This has to be some of the laziest cash grab shit. And listen, don't even get me started on Disney. Ever since moving down here, Disney is a joke <laughs> and i love disney but i cannot stand them right now i cannot like it is too much money for what you get you get nothing all right you get shit and that's what this feels like you get nothing this is a cash grab through and through it's not even like they could have done so many cute things with this but it just feels so fucking lame so okay the mickey breakfast buddies which by the way i love breakfast i love breakfast and you just that up <laughs> What you get in this collection is a Mickey cereal eight piece makeup brush set for $70. Yo, Spectrum brushes are so f subpar. It's not even funny. The only brush that I will fuck with and that I still use, hold on, where are you? And it's only because I don't really have a lot of stippling brushes is the stippling brush, which I don't even know where it is. Now. Oh, here, we, here you go. The Pusheen one. This is the only brush that I still use. I still have a couple of the Pusheen ones because that collection was pretty adorable, I'm not gonna lie. But this is the only one that I actually use. Everything else, mm, mm Granted, I am not a synthetic brush, I was about to say synthetic brush hoe, but I am not a synthetic brush hoe. So like, I'm not really into it that much. But I have tried other synthetic brushes that are fucking amazing and also a fraction of the price. So like, get the hell out of here. I just, I think their shit is just overpriced. It's jacked up. The only thing that I will actually pay a premium for is their cute accessories, like their brush holders. <laughs> that I will happily pay a premium for because it actually is a really good product. Like this is amazing quality. That's why I like, I get so confused by them because sometimes they just churn out shit. But then other times I'm like, bitch, this is amazing. It feels like I'm actually shaking Mickey's hand. Anyway, so they have the brush set for $70. Like get the hell out of here. Then you have the six piece sponge set for 28, which yeah, this is a missed, missed opportunity, bro. Missed opportunity because what they could have done is instead of having that stupid carton i feel like we rarely see any sort of like storage for our makeup sponges and how cute it could have been had this thing actually be like a proper makeup bag storage thing that you could put exclusively for sponges <gasps> that is fucking cute and i hear you you're probably saying but like who travels with six sponges i do Listen, you need to have backups of everything. Backups upon backups upon backups upon backups. You need to be prepared, okay? And I think it would have been adorable to actually make that a proper case instead of probably some plastic ass bullshit or probably cardboard bullshit. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's cardboard. That you're gonna just like throw out. Like that would have been really cool had it been that, but it wasn't. Mm. Then you have the makeup bag. As a makeup bag aficionado, like I am a snob when it comes to makeup bags. Like this is just, ugh. What is special about it? What's special about it? Nothing. At least with the stupid Fantasia one, the, like the hat one. <laughs> then at least that one was fucking cool. Like this just feels so like rushed. This whole thing, it just feels like such an afterthought. Like this could have been really cute. Again, I always can count on, for the most part, Spectrum to kind of deliver cute shit, but this just feels so lazy, so lazy not a fan. So yeah, this is a no for me, but actually now I want to see, do they even have it? Of course you have it, you little bitch. A fully recyclable egg box. Ugh, see, that's the shit that annoys me. <laughs> six makeup sponges in four different styles and six different colors featuring leaves or cut detailing of Mickey packed in a fully recyclable egg box. You. You. No, 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 no. $28 for that? Literally, you could just take your six paw paw sponges and even even bitch, even if you got the good eggs, okay, like the Pete and Jerry eggs <laughs> or the Nelly eggs, basically the organic eggs, even if you spent $7 on that and you just like cut half the fucking packaging, that would still be cheaper than getting this set out of here. I don't know, like it could have been so much more. Mm, it could have been so much more. And I know some of you are probably saying like, that's a weird hill to die on. I know. <laughs> I know, I know I'm crazy, okay? I don't wave any false flags here, all right? Anyway, that is enough. <laughs>
I think this is stupid. I wanted more, I expected more, and I got nothing. Thanks for nothing, Spectrum. Next. Refer brushes. And now to a brush brand that's actually worth checking out. We have a collaboration with Refer. <laughs> oh, that was weird. This is a new brush. This is the Alexandra Anel brush, which, spoiler alert, I have it. This is the AA01. This is a great fucking brush. I actually used it today when I was applying my blush, and it's awesome. Listen, y'all know I am a ride or die for refer. I talk about them at great lengths because they make beautiful natural hair brushes, and they make the best eyeshadow brushes for hooded eyes. When it comes to their face brushes, they make such lovely pieces that are legitimately staples in my collection. The amount of number fours and number fives that I have, actually, yeah, seriously, the, the amount of number fours that I have is, is actually quite criminal. And number five. And of course their foundation, their B02. I talked a little bit about them uh, in my last video, cause uh, you know, God forbid my makeup collection gets taken by demons. <laughs> One of the first things that I would pick up is refer brushes. Refer just makes good quality brushes, brushes that I've had for years and years and years and years. And while yes, I am affiliated with them, while yes, I also do partake in the sales, they do also send me PR. So I love this brand. This brand is just so fucking good. They make quality ass shit and they do not disappoint. What is nice about this brush is that it is a multi-use brush. So today I used it for blush, but I could also see myself using it for like a nice wispy highlighter. Or if I wanna start using it under my eyes to apply powder. I like rougher because they're bristles are always so soft. And as somebody who has very sensitive skin like myself, who usually cries at the drop of a hat, I like that these don't poke me out. They just feel super comfortable and they're just soft and they're lovely. And even after washing them, they get even softer. Like it's beautiful. So I can see myself using this brush in many different ways, but I really do love this as a blush brush though. I just think it's just so pretty. It's so pretty. Now this product is gonna be available on August 6th. I do have my links down below. It's technically, it's not affiliated because because that is the other cool thing about Ruffer is that they usually have a lot of sales and they also have the concept store where you can actually purchase brushes for like half off if you leave honest feedback, which is great. I love brands that do shit like that. It's amazing. So there are always these really good sales and stuff. So I do have an affiliate link, but it's not like an affiliate code. So I do make money if you do use that link. It's just, there's no like money off because they always have really amazing deals. Anyway, this is really awesome. I'm super excited for Alexandra. This is a beautiful brush and I can't wait to, uh, you know, make this a staple in my collection. So yes, if you're interested, again, August 6th. And uh, that's all I got. Next. Prada Beauty. I am so intrigued by this because I don't really understand how this works, but Prada has some new face products. We have a setting powder that's $90, which I mean, Jesus Christ, but okay. A weightless rest, a rest, holy shit, that's not even the word. A weightless reset rebalancing setting powder that delivers an instant, um, mattified, soft focus effect and skin while controlling shine all day long. <laughs> then you have the refine, re refine, oh my God, I can't read today. Refine blurring extender primer for 50 bucks. Instantly blurs pores and minimize the look of fine lines for smooth skin, soft focus effect and a flawless application. Infused with AHA, BHA and LHA acid complex and panthenol. Minimizes water loss for moisturized skin and improves makeup adhesion to skin, extending overall wear and controlling shine. You know, I was kind of like really into it because it's green and I was like, what the f that sounds kind of cool. I kind of need to see a little bit more like in action. I gotta see if Michelle has a video about this or if she even knows about this or if she, she probably has this. I need to see like exactly how does this work? Because when I first saw it, I was like, oh, color corrector? Ooh, color me surprised. I've never seen something like that. It sounded really kind of cool, but kind of reading it, I don't know about that one. <laughs> I don't know, like uh, the mattified stuff kind of freaks me out a little bit. Not that it freaks me out. I just mattified shit I don't really like. And I really am not a huge fan of their foundation. I think their foundation's okay, but it's just a little bit too matte for my liking because I have mummy dick skin that's usually dry and dehydrated. And I need things that will give me life. And Prada is just not one of those products that will give me life. And that's okay. That's okay. So yeah, when I see this, I'm kind of like, mm, less interested now in wanting to try it. I don't know, the idea of like a green powder just sounded so fucking cool. And I was like, ooh, I want this. I love paying a lot of money for something that's stupid. <laughs> 
stupid gimmicky products are my bread and butter. So it kind of excited me, but yeah, now I'm less interested in it. Also the primer, that sounds like it's so much. All of that is so much. Like, I feel like I, I don't need that. Like I want my skincare separate from my primer. Like I don't need it to be all this shit in there. Like, I don't know. Like I feel less excited about that one. Yeah, I kind of want to try the powder. Actually, wait, is it available on Sephora? Hello. <laughs> I do have a rouge uh, reward. <laughs> Don't tempt me with a good time, all right? Let's see, what do we got for Prada? Or is it only available on their dumb website? I hate Prada perfume, it smells like shit. But I do like Prada bags. I like my Prada wallet, but like, I just, uh, I don't like that. Yeah, I guess they don't have it, all right. Hmm, interesting. I'm wondering if it's ever gonna come to, okay, hold on, now I just gotta go look. Fuck me, Prada beauty. I can't find it, huh, unless it's sold out. All right, I'm gonna get another drink and then we're gonna keep on spinning. Next. Two Faced Cosmetics. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. Wow. I guess I have to get my own drink. All right, be right back. I had to get my own drink. All right, anyway. <laughs> I realize how much of an ungrateful little shit I sound like. And I am. All right. <laughs> I kid, I kid. All right, let's see. We have Two Faced. I... I'm mad, I'm mad. Cause I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now, okay? So initially it was supposed to come on Friday and that didn't happen. And then it said, oh, LOL, it's gonna come on Monday. And then I was like, oh. everyone's getting their palette, making me jealous. And then poof, it gets delivered on Saturday. Can I tell you? <laughs> how upset I was when I saw, when I saw that it was in a bubble mailer, which can we talk about Ulta? Ulta, I love you, but you gotta fix your fucking shipping now. Your shipping is horrible and you keep putting, and I see you, I'm gonna say collectively you Ulta, cause I like to think it's like Mr. Ulta. Like think of like the Pringles logo. <laughs> That's what I picture when I think of Ulta, okay? I just think of like a giant Pringles can logo. That's who I'm addressing. You are packaging shit. You are throwing it in so fucking haphazardly in little bubble mailers. Like what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Of course, first world problems, Too Faced is not in the store. Tragedy, by the way, tragedy. So because of that, I have to call and I have to get it reshipped, which is not gonna show up for like eight days. <laughs> So I'm not like super excited about that. Um, but being that I do have it in my possession, busted, I will still use it. <laughs> I will still use it purely on principle. I'm just gonna be hopeful that the next one arrives in perfect condition. Any hoozy. So this palette, uh, when I tell you, I would pick it up and show you, but the amount of, I need to, it's gonna take like two days to get the glitter. It's, it's all up in my kitchen. I made a huge mess. Alex is very mad at me. <laughs> Just very pissed at me because I had a feeling that it was all fucked up and I was gloating about it. And then I spilt it everywhere around the area that he uh, uses to prepare our food. So I'm pretty sure that we're ingesting sparkles, but when aren't we ingesting sparkles? But anyway, point is, um, it's over there. It's in a contaminated zone. <laughs> So I'm just gonna have to get that cleaned up, uh, but I am gonna be using it for like a new makeup video. But of course the one shade that looks so pretty, that looks so good, is the one that busted everywhere. So, I mean, granted, it's not terrible. Like if it was like kind of up, but like contained in the pan, I could have figured out like how to like press it down and made it nice. But the problem is, is that it exploded into so much shit that it's just, it's everywhere. So I really need to clean the fuck out of that palette before I can use it. Anyway, when I first saw this, I got excited because it was a tin. And I know that 99% of the time, Too Faced tin palettes are everything that you want them to be. And just by swatching this, I have not put this on my face, but just by swatching it, it's everything. <laughs> And I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I'm so mad that it came fucked up. So, um, yeah. Anyway, we'll talk about it more in a trying new makeup uh, video, but am I the f moron that purchased it? Yes. Does it really look like apples? Not really. Do I care? No, I don't care. I don't care at all. Half the palettes never look like anything that they say they are, yet I still buy them because I'm an asshole. All right, so I like it. I like it. And as much as I do love a pumpkin, you know, anything pumpkin, because I am the pumpkin queen, I am happy to see 
a nice little apple. Well, you know what's so funny? I feel like old me would be like, oh, uh, it's July, it's summer still. But in reality, down here in Florida, the bog state, uh, we're getting prepared for Halloween stuff. So when you go to stores, there's Halloween things, which makes it ultimately feel like fall. This is the weirdest place I've ever lived. I don't quite understand it. And that's probably one of the only selling points other than uh, no state tax. <laughs> no state tax in your paychecks. The only good thing about it is that you do get stuff a little bit earlier than everybody else. And for that, I'm like, this place ain't so bad. Um, but it's very short lived. Cause like <laughs> once it's done, then I'm reminded that I live in Florida. Um, yeah, fuck. Okay. Anyway, point is, um, I'm excited about this. I'm excited. I'm excited. It's stupid. I love it. I feel like a moron and I cannot wait to play with it. And I'm mad that it was really good quality just by swatching it. <sighs> if, if, if I put it on my eyes and it's a horrible, horrible mess, then we know the world's ending. <laughs> it's a travesty. But uh, touching it, <sighs> she feels good. She does. Anyway, expect that video Wednesday. Next. Urban Decay. Listen, everything old is new again. And there was somebody that commented that they were like, oh yeah, I would love to know your thoughts on about the OG naked palette. I want to be like, what are you talking about? Like, you mean that palette that's 87 years old? And then I looked and I saw, oh my God, they fucking re-released it. What? Okay. Now, if y'all don't know, I didn't really fall in love with makeup until like about 2017, 2018. So I didn't have this naked palette. I had the second and the third one, never the first one. So I am going to buy this because I never got the first one. And I was always kind of sad. I like, I felt like I had opportunities to get it, but then I didn't, but I want it and I'm going to buy it and I like it. Uh, but, but uh, you know, like, do I need this? No, I have this palette 75 fucking times over, but I want it because of like the nostalgia of it. So this is the OG Naked, backed by popular demand with limited quantities, this iconic 12 neutral eyeshadows and ultra smooth mattes, glimmering metallic stunning shimmers and velvety satins are $59. So according to all the comments and shit, which also, by the way, this is gonna be available at Ulta, I'm a little scared. Cause if they're gonna do that shipping shit, like this is gonna come busted and that makes me sad. I was looking in the comments because I was unclear if this was going to be um, basically old stock that they took out of the dumpster <laughs> and they're like selling it at a premium. But apparently this is a reformulated version. It's so like a remastered version. So I can't really speak to if this is going to be the same quality as that OG. And that OG is an OG for a reason, right? That said, the price difference is fucking bananas because it's $59 compared to what it was, which was $44. Inflation's a bitch. <laughs> it's a bitch. Uh, but this is in line with other naked palettes. So it kind of, it makes sense. I'm also kind of curious if the packaging is going to be like that weird fuzzy bear packaging. Cause I think that's the OG naked was the fuzzy bear, like ABH packaging. I feel like it was similar. So I'm curious to see if it's going to be that, or if it's going to be some sort of like hard plastic. I can't really tell from the pictures, but yeah. Mm. I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy it and I'm gonna do a video on it and we're gonna see how it works. You know, kind of looking at this palette and I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but you know what would be kind of funny actually? If I, cause there are a lot of makeup products that I didn't pick up because I got into makeup later in life, right? So I wanna see if there are any other like OG makeup products that I have not tried either because I like missed the boat entirely or I just, I don't know, just never tried them. Um, and kind of include that in like the Urban Decay video, like a first impressions or a face full of OGs. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, like I gotta kind of like think about this a little bit more cause it could be really funny, but it also could be like, really stupid. <laughs> I don't know, but like kind of the idea of like thinking about makeup products that I've never tried, things that are like staples and all that stuff and including that within it. I feel like that could be kind of cool or it could be the stupidest fucking idea I've ever had. I don't know. Let me know down below if you think that is kind of interesting. I feel like it could be interesting, but I would just have to cherry pick like products that are like OGs that I haven't tried. And I feel like it should be pretty easy considering I got into makeup later. But I guess the other caveat to that is there is a good possibility that maybe I will never find some of those products that they are discontinued. So maybe I'll have to limit it more to like products that are OGs that still exist. Do you follow me? Am I too drunk? <laughs> Am I? I think that makes sense. You know what? Say, um, uh, okay. 
let me know down below, say something like, I will follow you down the rabbit hole. If you say that, then I know that one, I'll probably be very confused. <laughs> so just say, I'll follow you down the rabbit hole. And if I get enough of those, I'll do the video. But I think that would be kind of interesting to do. Either way, you're gonna see a video about this one, but I think it'd be kind of cool to do that, right? Let's spin. Pat McGrath Labs. I am perplexed by this. So mother, Pat McGrath, came out with some eyeshadow quads, the Sublime Blooms. They're floral inspired eyeshadow quads featuring a matte shade for definition, two metallic shades for depth, and a luminizer for highlights. Do you remember when the quads used to be like amazing and they felt like they were just like really cool and just revolutionary? Yeah, I forget that time period because I feel like what this brand has been delivering us is just kind of like the same recycled garbage over and over again. However, what gets really f confusing and kind of like Berenstein bears it for me is the one quad I think is it opalescent orchid there's a green but then when you look at the swatches it's purple but it's green but it's purple but it's green but it's is it but it's purple what color is it I don't know what color it's freaking me out it's freaking me out because it's not the pink one and that white one is that white one a purple one? Is that what it is? And that green one is kind of like a green silver, but it doesn't even look like it's green, it's just silver. I have not seen anyone talk about these or anything like that, because I feel like a lot of people kind of feel very similarly. Granted, I haven't done a poll on anybody, but I would imagine that people are just kind of like fed up with this brand's bullshit. Or maybe people are sucking it. I don't know, but I'm not. I'm sure like this is not in this mouth, okay? not them all right but I'm so confused with like I don't understand like the colors it's not it's not computing there's something wrong with the matrix code I don't get it I don't get it so I I I'm kind of freaked out by it so I kind of want to see this in person but I don't know if this is ever gonna like come in store it's probably just gonna be on the website and then I guarantee it in about one month you're going to probably get a bunch of emails from Pat McGrath saying that there's gonna be a 55% sale or some shit like that and then you can get this palette for 55% off which for that price that's still paying way too much for it but yeah I don't know I just <laughs> I just want to like Pat McGrath's products more I used to love the products the products were great uh, the, the giant palettes that were $125. Yes, they were expensive as all hell, but they made sense. Like this just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense at all. <sighs> it's disappointing really. But are we surprised? No. I feel like this is like the 50th launch at this point from this brand that nobody gives a shit about. Yeah. Call me when you're releasing a Mothership palette and you better not be cheap and giving us like the same recycled garbage over and over again. Give us something new. I beg of you. Shut me the fuck up, please. Shut me up. That's all I want. Shut me up. This is gross. Next. Go dumpster diving. Ah, <sighs> terrifying. All right. Oh, well, it's kind of anticlimactic. Okay. <laughs> Spin again. All right. Next. Nude sticks. You know, I never found a nude stick product that I liked. Never found it. I feel like it kind of doesn't exist. And I hate to say it, but I'm going to say it. <laughs> I'm saying it with my full chest. I think Nude Sticks is just a, a company that exists and I don't really understand why. And I'd never paid attention to them. The only thing that was kind of interesting was that weird tin thing that had the sharpener uh, attached to it uh, circa what, 2018, 2019? I guess that was kind of cool. I remember that from Ipsy Generation Beauty. But beyond that though, I've never really found something that tickled my pickle. Then I saw this and I feel like I want to call this episode Everything Old is New Again because we have the OG palette, right? We have, um, what else do we have? Fucking, I feel like Natasha Denona is like a repeat. Even like the Too Faced kind of coming back with like a tin style. Even the Bobbi Brown, basically I feel like re-releasing the Monopoly but just like a different color story. There is a lot of things that are kind of just like happening over and over again. I mean, even Sabrina Carpenter, as much as I do love her, even her pal, uh, her palette, it's not even a fucking palette, but the box or whatever, the perfume bottle kind of reminds me of like, um, do you remember when Makeup Revolution had like the chocolate bar palettes? Like that's what it reminds me of. And all 
of these things are giving me the vibe of everything old is new again. And that's what this feels like. Everything old is new again. So when I see this, this reminds me of Melt Cosmetics. Uh, when Melt Cosmetics used to have like this, I'm about to say the snack. I wish I had a snack. The, st <laughs> the stacks. Um, so when I see this, I'm like, interesting. And I kind of want to try it. So this is uh, basically all new formula, new packaging, new everything. It's all like, bl I guess blushes, right? Yeah, it's all blushes. It's the Stacks All Over Color Blush Balm. A three-in-one cream to powder blush balm formula for cheeks, eyes, and lips to create a monochromatic look. All right. House in a magnetic multi-stacking and makeup compact. Create your custom cloud color collection. Has an airy cloud cushion texture. A formula that blurs the skin for a soft, mattified, long-wearing finish. Has a magnetic snap closure and a mirror for on the go. A makeup meets skincare formula, hydrate and blur. A gelled emollient blend for a moisture retention and barrier protection properties. Oh my God, that's like a mouthful. Green tea for anti-aging, antioxidant, rose hip oil for rich in vitamin A, anti-aging. Safflower oil, anti-aging, even skin skin toning and skin softening and vitamin E for a natural antioxidant. Mix and stack your stacks for an easy, cheeky, fun flush, fun flat flush. <laughs> Fun flush of all over the face for these nine shades. They're $24 a piece. The Sephora app, oh, did I miss this? Oh, wait, wait, oh, it's, to okay, okay. Uh, all right, it's tomorrow, okay, okay, okay. So apparently on the Sephora app, July 28th, so I'm filming this on Saturday, so hi. So the 28th is gonna be in the Sephora app, and then on the 29th, we'll be at Sephora and Ulta as well as Nude Sticks. Nude Sticks is continuing to give us easy on-the-go products, keeping it trendy and beautiful. The formula is very lightweight, easy to blend looks, and looks natural natural on the skin. Okay. Um, now I heard, I want, was it, was it Morgan Turner? I feel like I've seen a couple of Morgan's TikToks where she has mentioned nude sticks and she like, I think loved the blush formula. And I always was like, really? And then I just forget about it because it's nude sticks, but I'm interested. And purely, purely because of the melt packaging, which is kind of funny. Um, but it just shows you how stupid I am. <laughs> Just shows you how much of a stupid bitch I am. So I think what I want to do is, I think I'm going to pick some of these up or at least maybe like one or two. Now the colors, you have like a warm peach nude. There's like warm tan nude, a cool bright rose pink, rosy coral, neutral rose, a fuchsia pink, terracotta, a warm nude bronze, which is a nude sticks exclusive and then a neutral watermelon coral. So I kind of want to see if I can maybe pick up two of them, but I want to like take a really good look at the shades and the swatches and stuff like that. I'm intrigued and purely it's because of the gimmicky packaging. And for that, I say, you get my coin. <laughs> you make me interested. And it's so funny how a uh, huge hypocrite I am. And I love that about me. <laughs> I shit on one thing and then I'm like, I'll buy it because you look like something that I actually never even used before. And I always thought was kind of stupid, but hey, I'll buy it now because it makes sense. Oh, y'all, the world's ending. All right, just join me. <laughs> Join me, all right? It just makes things easier if you just join the madness, all right? Anyway, I like it. <laughs> I like it and I want it and it's stupid and I know it. Next. LYS Beauty. Oh, okay. I want to try this too. And I know this is available. Oh, it's available on their website. So it's not quite on the Sephora website yet, right? Hold on, let me go look. Cause I feel like I'll be probably placing a big fucking order tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know why that kind of also sounded like Woody Woodpecker. That was weird. Oh, they do have it. Yay. Okay. Perfection. No, they don't have it. When is it coming? Ma'am. Hello, ma'am. When is this coming? I think I have to look on the website. It just is coming soon. Okay, anyway, so LYS Beauty is coming out with a triple fix translucent loose setting powder. Finely milled powder for flawless, long lasting wear with silky smooth texture glides effortlessly onto the skin, leaving behind a velvety finish that feels weightless and effortlessly blurs imperfection. Clean and cruelty free, seven shades. I wanna try it. I'm always down for new powders and all that stuff. And I think in a sick, sick, sick way. I'm always looking to see if there's something that's better than the ones that I love. Like I'm obviously obsessed with the CoverGirl powder and that powder is just beautiful and fantastic. And I haven't really found anything to dethrone it. Um, but I'm always down to clown. and I'm always interested in trying to see if there's something out there that's better than that. Uh, the pictures look really good. They look fun. <laughs> 
well, as fun as setting powder can be, right? So with that, I definitely want to pick it up. And the stuff that I have tried from LYS, I have enjoyed. So um, fingers crossed that this works uh, for me. If not, I will read it to filth, but uh, we will cross that bridge when we get there. But I don't think there's anything else really interesting that I can say about it. Like it's a f setting powder. Huh? I mean, really, who gives a f about a setting powder? <laughs> who cares? If it is available to purchase while I pick up the stupid ass nude sticks thing, then I'll definitely pick it up. If not, then I'll definitely wait for a Sephora sale. Because again, while I do want to see if there's anything that could dethrone my powder, I don't necessarily need to have it right now. So it's something that it's like, um, I'll check this out later. And if I can get a discount, even better. It's kind of one of those products. But anyway, that's all I got for that one. Next. and now featuring Paul Giamatti. Oh, hello. So we meet again. It's been so much time. Just kidding. Okay, uh, first, let's talk about this case. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? <laughs> okay, let's spin. Real Techniques. I don't know what this is. Apparently, this is a, of course, it's all hail trend mood. A makeup saver blending sponge. Real Techniques, which I'm imagining is the company name. It has all these weird textures on it. Created with fingerprint technology to mimic makeup. Application done using your fingers. Reduces the product absorption and provides natural skin-like finish. Provides buildable streak-free coverage for a natural skin-like finish. Didn't you already say skin-like finish? Okay. We're just going to keep saying that. Works best with liquid and cream products. Use makeup sponge dry for best results. $8.99. Skin-like finish. The first thing is, what is this and who would buy it? This looks really weird. I don't like this. Who would buy this? I've seemed to spot something. Um, hold on, let me put this awkward case down. <sighs> she has it already. Well, I guess we're gonna use it. Blank card, focus. Hey, it did. Look at that. That's weird, I don't like that. What is this supposed to do? Do you just hold it? That's it, it's all, you're just like, oh, it's, it's like fingerprint technology. Wow, I could really feel the fingertip technology. What is it supposed to do again? To mimic makeup application done using your fingers. Roots of products, okay. So you would put the makeup on here and plop, 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 plop. They just have little lines, like it's a fingerprint. Whose fingerprint did they use? That person's fucked. Y'all just start doing crimes with this. I remember when makeup products used to make sense. And they never made sense to me. But what is this? But you know what time it is. Let's check out the comments. Are there any? Are they allowed? Oh, right, there we go. Point of using your fingers is because of the warmth, not the print. Melting smiley face. Stupid product. And then the company literally said this, and then the hands up. Do they understand what's happening in that comment? The company is kind of replying to like every comment. Wow, this is weird. I don't like this. Because <laughs> a lot of people are disagreeing, and they're just like replying to people that agree with the product. I don't know, this feels very staged. <laughs> I love a brand reading negative comments, and then just replying to all the ones that are like, Oh, this is a good idea. Wait, this is kind of genius. I might have to try. The company replied, Orange Heart, Orange Heart, Orange Heart. Been testing out, retesting, and developing this product for two years. The blend is Italian. That's what they did. Two years on a nine dollar sponge. Okay, I don't, I don't know about this. Yeah, they're literally in every single comment. Look at this. Every that orange circle is them. Every time they are replying, they are in it, in it to win it. Wow, that that 
intern better be getting paid overtime for doing this shit. Oh, I guess they only did it for a while because <laughs> the second half not getting replies. And it's still a week ago. So I guess they only had the intern for a few hours because it got quiet. Great. Okay, cool. I don't know what this is. Um, I don't know why this is, but you know, it has innovative fingerprint technology. So that has to mean something, right? Because, you know, everything in makeup is real. You can just say anything you want, I guess, if you put technology after it. Yeah, that's it. And also, that was the last product. So guess what I'm doing? I'm ending this video, okay? So guess what? We're going to take a sip of this high noon vodka iced tea peach. Yeah, it's okay. Wow, what an episode. <laughs> oh, that wheel. I tell you, if you like anything from this episode, or hate anything, let us know down below. We love reading your words you type out. Special thanks to all the Patreon and YouTube subscribers. You can never, you, you just can't, you just can't say thank you enough to your support. It's great. 10 out of 10. Love it. Appreciate it. Great. Fabulous. But yeah, comment and like and all that other garbage, because, you know, YouTube is trash, and it hates channels because they curse <laughs> Good the horror I this way we're sure anyway that's mom all right he did it comment say something everyone type baby bell 2 if you made it this far i want to see how many baby bells are in chat yeah that's all i got i'm Teresa, and this has been mom <laughs>